Hey, what is up you guys? We got a super simple install for today. And um, honestly, it's kind of one that's a little bit necessary. Uh, absolutely dependent on what state you live in. Um, but it seems like uh, the more in the future we get, the more necessary these times are. But um, we got a nice high flow universal cap for the Miata today. And um, honestly, should make it sound a little bit better. Um, I don't know. I, I'm not a big cat guy. I don't like cats. It should clean up how it sounds. Um, it, it really doesn't even sound that bad to begin with. But what we're aiming for is to get the stickers. So just we're just gonna slap that in and um, see what happens, you know? Hopefully it cleans up how it sounds and um, I don't know, maybe makes it out a little bit better. Probably not, probably. I mean, honestly, probably. And make it pick up on the back end and not make it, or correct the back pressure. But um, I don't know, either way, it should be nice. So nice and simple install for a Saturday. And um, after that, we got some wet sanding on a spoiler and buffing and uh, we'll just go from there. All right, first things first, we gotta get this thing up in the air. Actually, there's a really good place to put the catalytic converter on these. It's very close to the AOM location. And I'll show you guys what I'm talking about, but um, there's this little spot right beside your transmission because the transits are super small on these things. Um, and honestly, it's where the OEM cat would go. Uh, I know it's different for uh, different Miata models and closer to the older ones, you have less cats. Um, and it's less of a headache to deal with and genuinely the piping is all the same size, so it's kind of nice. Um, but every model is different uh, and it varies from Miata to Miata. But like I said, first things first, we got to get it up in the air and then I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. All right, so now that we got the car up in the air, I'll show you guys exactly what I was talking about. Um, and honestly, there's a really good space right where I'm pointing my flashlight right here in front of the hangar and before the trans right beside it. There's some space right beside the trans right up there where the pipe's brown. Um, but honestly, I don't think that's where I'm gonna put it. I'm probably gonna replace some of that uh, nice section of pipe right there and then put her in. Once you got your pipe marked, you're about ready to cut. And so honestly, what I'm doing, this is some OEM uh, exhaust from the Miata. Um, and honestly, there's holes and shit all throughout it. But um, that's the OEM piece. This is the straight pipe that the previous owner put in. So what I'm gonna do is cut right at the seam of where he welded to the straight pipe and the OEM pipe and then take off what I need for the cat because this is the best area I can get for clearance for this little cat and um, put it right up in there. Yeah, I would definitely recommend taking off your OEM flange. Uh, it was super annoying and it definitely got in the way. I want to see how uh, the cat lines up and um, we'll just go from there. Yeah, that's not bad. Took off a little bit extra, so I'm just going to weld on a little bit of pipe. All right, so since the section of pipe that we took out of there is a little bit longer than the cat, and honestly, it does not matter, um, we're gonna take a tiny bit section of this pipe and then put on the end of the cat, because all of this piping slides right over the outside diameter of the cat, which is awesome. And um, the outside diameter of the cat also slides over the OEM pipe on there. So everything's gonna slide on perfectly. I just have to grab like an extra inch of little pipe because I was just dumbass cutting, it don't matter. So I couldn't decide which section of pipe I wanted, but honestly, I think this one will do it. So we'll see how it lines up. It's all tacked up, it's good to go. And um, we can put that up to the car, see how it fits now with that extra little bit of space. And um, honestly, just go from there. You can just tack it in and then uh, see how it sounds.
that's how it turned out. Honestly, that's not bad placement at all. Pairs well with the uh, little muffler, but um, minus all the shitty looking welds, um, I absolutely nuked the hell out of it. Uh, I took my good old time, my good old sweet time, and um, Jesus Christ has burnt the piss and bath. So that's a good thing though. So I'm excited to start it and um, see if there's any holes. And there, there really shouldn't be because I, I nuked it the whole way around twice. And really only having to nuke it twice because the piping is so old from that going up to the straight pipe and then that's the straight pipe post is all new piping. So, but either way, let's get this car back on the ground and see what it sounds like. Let's see what she sounds like. day to be doing this It looks like pit stop view, bro. This is sick. No, dude, I saw the truck coming and I was like, fuck, I got this. <laughs> then my foot switched off the gas now. Tarzan over here. The turning radius is nuts on that thing, bro. He just gets eaten up by the woods so often. It's hilarious. <laughs> yes. 
grippy! I'm a grippy, so you know. <laughs> that dance! What the hell? Who knows the pain? Alright, let's do this shit! <laughs> <laughs> I swear Derek's gone up so many times. Yo! Oh, this thing's quick. Yeah, you can't, bro, you can't drift that shit, period. <laughs> what? No! The seat! No, the zip ties, bro! No! Alright, what do you guys want to rip? Rip the shit out of it! And he's gone! <laughs> <laughs> Something looks like it fucking hurts. You ripping? Yeah. Hell yeah, dude, send it. Just appreciate the great day we have. Hello, you guys. During midsummer, it's like it's like 74 degrees. Like you gotta appreciate this shit. Like we're just chilling out here, ripping the go kart, racing around. It's great. It's sick! <laughs> that was so close! 